y'all it's heel heat time hi everybody and welcome to heel heat my name is george coles and this is our nxt show for the week let's jump right into it first we have a match with baron corbin versus elias sampson um basic baron corbin match lasted about 10 seconds he hits his uh, i believe he calls an end of days finisher gets over with a quick easy win i Kind of enjoy the character. He's kind of going with that really dominant thing, kind of a Goldberg esque kind of deal. Um, problem is, when you build people like this, when they start having to go into the longer matches, do, do they handle? And hopefully, Baron does, and hopefully, he has a long, successful career. He definitely has a charisma about him, so hopefully. He can progress wonderfully. Next up, we had an in-ring interview with Sami Zayn, talking about wanting to rededicate himself and stop losing and become NXT champion, which brings out Tyson Kidd. They go back and forth, and they set up a match, which will end up being the main event for the night. A little cool thing. I like to, them handing Sami the microphone. I'd like to see him do more of that with some of these guys, give him a little bit more mic time, because... As we all know, if they make it to the, the main roster, then Mike Time's a big, big deal on how far you go in the company. And the more you can practice, the better you'll get, in my opinion. Next up, we have a tag team match, the Lucha Dragons versus Buddy Murphy and Wesley Blake. Blake, I'm sorry. Murphy and Blake get beat by the Dragons. Pretty cool match, fun and interesting. I kind of like the Lucha Dragon style. Um, Murphy and Blake, they've not really been given anything to really work with, but they're very solid in the ring. They could carry good matches, I think, with pretty much any tag team on the NXT roster, which is loaded with great tag teams. But I thought it was a good, fun, interesting match. Gets us our tag champions on the show and all. I enjoyed it. Next up, we have Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. The the NXT Women's Champion in a non-title match. Charlotte picks up the win as we're surprised as if she wouldn't. Charlotte's absolutely amazing. Everything she does, she continues to impress. After we see Becky Lynch have a conversation with Sasha Banks in the locker room, a little bit of back and forth Becky Lynch saying she doesn't like Sasha's tactics. Sasha saying, well, you're never going to get anywhere using the tactics you do, being nice and kind and shaking hands. So we'll see where that goes. Maybe a feud. Who knows? Maybe a partnership. Maybe Sasha Turn or Becky join Sasha. Who knows? Next up, we have Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy versus the Legionnaires which are Sylvester Lafort and Marcus Louis. As we've seen, Marcus Louis has had his head shaved as per TakeOver 2. Comes out again with the wrestling headgear with a wig under it, which has been done by Kurt Angle and, the, and um, Buddy Roberts before. We see before the match even really gets steam, Marcus Louis' wig falls off, which makes him fumingly mad, he attacks his partner, Sylvester LaFort, pretty much beats him down, not sure if they're going to make this a breakup or if it's just a frustration between the team and now that that's out, they'll be fine, but I, I assume they're going to take these two guys in different directions, potentially, but it was cool, fun little segment part of it, giving us a different thing, you know, maybe the fans can get behind Marcus Louis. Stranger things have happened. Now coming up, we're told by Enzo and Cass that since our match was so short, we're going to have the debut of Carmella next. Which, Carmella came out and she was fighting a local wrestler that no, 
they didn't name on TV, but I'm going to break it here for those of you that don't know. Uh, it's a local Florida independent wrestler. Her name is Leva Bates. She's extremely gifted, extremely talented. If you're not familiar with who I'm talking about, they kept calling her Blue Pants. Um, her gimmick is basically she does cosplay as part of her in-ring gear. So last night, or uh, during this show, she was dressed as Kitty Pride from the X-Men. She's done Rick Grimes from Walking Dead. She's done Han Solo. She's done The Bride from Kill Bill. Plus, probably eight dozen other things that I'm not thinking of right off the top of my head. But she's an amazingly gifted wrestler. We see her lose, put Carmella over. Hopefully this adds to Leva getting a job as well because I think she would be a wonderful addition to the NXT roster and the WWE roster as well. Amazingly gifted wrestler who's not not a not currently signed to them, but hopefully she will. Hopefully this is the sign of things to come. Last but not least, we have our our main event of the night, Sami Zayn versus Tyson Kidd. They both absolutely steal the show, as as we're shocked that they would. Um, but Sami Sami picks up the win with the Haluva kick. Awesome match, great way to end the show. Lots of fun, lots of stuff packed in here. The one criticism I, I will say is they packed one, two, three, four, five. Six matches in a one-hour show. I do know that two of the matches were less than a minute, so I understand that, but it's really only four. But you run the risk of packing too much and not giving us enough of somebody if you do that. Other than that, I thought the show was really fun to watch, really interesting, and we're going to lead it right into our top five prospects for the week. Now, before we get into this, for you new viewers... We don't include people that have already been on the main roster as part of the main roster. So that excludes guys like Tyson Kidd, guys like Sin Cara, that, are only, that come to NXT and may wrestle there in NXT, but they're excluded from the top five. Now let's go right into it. Number five, cracking the list for the first time, Baron Corbin. Really has the it factor, seems to have people behind him. He's, like I said, he's getting the Goldberg-esque push. I can only see good things coming out of this for, for young Baron. I think it's, I think the sky's really the limit. He seems to have the backing, so hopefully it really is. Number four, the NXT World Champion, Adrian Neville. I enjoy the semi-heel stuff he's been doing. You know, he's absolutely one of the best high flyers in the business. I think, it, like most of these people I'm going to mention on the top five, it's a matter of time before they're on the main roster. Number three, the Divas, or Women's Champion of NXT, Charlotte. What can I say about Charlotte that I haven't said already a million times? She is absolutely the best women's wrestler they have there. They need to bring her up to the main roster so she can add some good wrestling, women's wrestling, back to the Divas division. Which has been lacking of as of late. They're doing too much, way too much Total Divas crap. Number two, Sami Zayn. Again, I think in the long run, Sami Zayn may be the best prospect in NXT. I think he has the opportunity. He has the highest upside, in my opinion. The, the only problem I might have is, is he going to hit the glass ceiling? Is there going to be a ceiling put up? Or are we going to see Sami Zayn... Excel and other small, where other smaller guys like Chris Jericho, Rey Mysterio, Daniel Bryan have, or is he going to be a guy that never gets to fully reach his ultimate potential? Only time will tell. I think the sky is the limit for him now. And our number one guy, same as last week, last week in a short period of time, Hideo Itami has came in and he's served notice that he's there for a reason, that he's here to be the best in the world, and he seems to be proving it so far. An amazing wrestler. <laughs> I, I feel bad for pushing people down that have been in NXT for a long time, but he's already got that presence of he's a superstar, and 
most of these guys do the same thing Zane does, Charlotte does, Adrian Neville does to some extent. But if Tommy comes in, he he's already been billed as being a big deal. He's showing that he's a big deal. And I think he'll continue to be a big deal. I think he's one of the guys that, much like Sami Zayn, everything I just said about Sami Zayn, I could say about him, he will go as far as the WWE will let him. If they allow him to reach the top of the card, he will be there on the top of the card. But basically, that's all I have to say about this episode of NXT. My name is George Coles, and this has been another episode of Heal Heat.